So that was uh, that. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about one of our main conversation topics. This is going to be mostly a me and Frank thing. I'm going to have Frank start us off. Frank, we're going to talk about Evil Dead Rise while you blow people <laughs> up with a rocket. Yeah, Evil Dead Rise, man. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking movie. Um, me and Mario are going to come at this at two different angles here. Just yes. because, like, so I am 100% a Evil Dead fan, but I am a big fan of, like, Evil Dead when it's, like, Ash and, like, Ash versus Deadites, right? Yeah. So I very much have not seen the remake movie that doesn't involve Ash in any kind of way possible, right? Because it just isn't my thing, right? I, I I feel like Evil Dead, and even after watching Evil Dead Rise, spoiler alert, I still feel like it needs a central protagonist to really kind of shine. But, it, it, you know, Mario's right, man. Bruce Campbell's getting kind of old. Bruce, Bruce Campbell, you know, he kind of just wants to take a seat back from it. Maybe he doesn't want to be Ash forever, right? Got to respect the wishes of the man himself. And um, so then in that respect, you know, I mean, I, I decided, hey, you know what? Let's go see what Evil Dead looks like without Ash in it, right? Let's go see what it looks like without uh, my favorite parts in it. And you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. That's that was a pretty goddamn great movie. Um, there's a lot of... There's a lot of love for Evil Dead, like classic movies in that movie. There's a lot of nice little nods to those movies. And you know what? I still believe there needs to be a, a main protagonist. Maybe we'll see that throughout all these remakes. But you know what? This movie kind of proved to me that it can live without Ash for a little bit. But uh, Mario, like, I, I want to hear from your perspective, too, because you, 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 you watch both movies and you've been trying to convince me to watch remake movie for, for a good little bit now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that 2013's Evil Dead, the uh, reboot, if you will, um, I think it does a lot of great things with the concept of bringing it back to the original Evil Dead movie, which has some silly moments in it, but a lot of that silliness is now coming from the era in which it was made and the campiness of it in terms of the design and stuff like that. But it was really meant to be just like a real terrifying experience. And they do succeed in the Evil Dead 2013, it's more visceral. It's more grittier in terms of just the design of the the world in terms of the camera uh, lens of it, but still keeps it and retains elements of all the Evil Dead stuff that you've all known, um, adding in that extra grit to it. That being said, the, sh the movie is still hilarious if you watch uh, 2013 as well. There's some really funny bits. And then transitioning to uh, Evil Dead Rise, just taking the concept completely away from the cabin. And now we're in this uh, high rise uh, residential building. Uh, how much could they, you know, connect to those similar elements, but be in this such, you know, it's an even more confined space than, say, like, uh, you know, um, a forest where theoretically you would think they could just leave, but they do find ways to work around that where they're like, nope, you are fucking trapped and you're going to be dealing with this all night. Um, and they do a great job with that specific elements of it. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed Evil Dead Rise. It definitely has some of the most visceral kills. Um, not the most, I would say... How can I describe this, Frank? And uh, not necessarily there were kills in the other movies. They mostly just the slow, like dying of the characters. Yeah, the slow, like the consumption of the characters taking being taken over by the deadites. Um, that happens in this movie and it happens quite a bit. Um, but I, I think that the actual like visceral, like like oh, what happens to the individual characters is really fucked up, and especially. Oh, yeah. Especially certain things. I mean, obviously everybody knows that the the, the emoji for this movie is the fucking cheese grater. There's a lot with glass that I'm not a fan of. Uh, that, that I don't like. Oh, there's a lot. There's, they play a lot with glass in this movie. And you know what? Yeah. And I, uh, but um, you're right. It's more, it's more like the slow torture of characters before they finally succumb to it, right? Yes. I mean, they come up from old dead eye. Um... And oh, I gotta blow up, blow this up, don't I? Yeah, go ahead. We love some light torture. Yeah, the, the the thing is, though, is like when we see it in those other movies, it's like characters that are teenagers, right? They're goofy teenagers, or they're just people that are in this world. This is a, a family unit. Um, yeah. It's a mom, her sister, and four kids, right? And other instances. And for them to 
have you meet every character and get to know them a little bit, what they're about, and then slowly, possibly rip some of them away is definitely very hard to watch. <laughs> um, it's very ballsy too. It's very ballsy for a lot of. To be honest with you, like because Deadites in this universe have no remorse. Like there they is no fucked. like they'll do they'll do and say anything to give you fear and make you like uncomfortable right yeah like they'll 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 hit some, they'll trauma dump you a little bit <laughs> make you feel very bad so like to see that in a family setting ooh, yeah who, it's who, dead, it's who knows who knows the most like fucked up secrets about each other than your family and to have them constantly throw that in their faces is definitely it adds to that like oh this is heart-wrenching because these are people that they love but they're trying to fucking murder them and then you know you gotta dismember and do all this, this crazy shit like they they put you to the paces for 90 uh, plus minutes which is great we love a tight 90 um and i do think they do a great job of, exactly i think they do a great job of also expanding the universe um mm -hmm. in terms of like why this exists and why even yeah. 2013 exists and why it connects to the other movies too. Um, yeah, because it's pretty common knowledge now if you follow like the series that there is more than one Necronomicon now. Yeah. Like in terms of like there's Ash's Necronomicon, there's the Necronomicon from the 2013 movie, and now this is introducing a totally different one altogether. Yes. Which, if you connect it back to Army of Darkness, there were three books in that movie too. Um, mm -hmm. Originally, we just thought they were traps, but now if you kind of just read between the lines, they all somewhat are connected to each other, um, which is really cool. I really like how they, they are able to bridge that gap between the universes, or the different movies. And every movie's sort of been a remake of itself in a lot of ways. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really good that they found a way to sort of like explain that in a way um, that I think really does a good job. Um, yeah. Nice. It, lo it, looks, uh, it looks scary as fuck. Yeah. Um... Just because, like, how how they talk and stuff like that, so it, it's kind of it's kind of neat. It looks kind of neat. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has its jump scare moments. Um, very horrific in terms of like. By, by the way, shout out to the um, the effects team oh, on man. that movie. Like, I know there's a, there is a good little bit maybe that might be CGI'd, but there's a lot of practical shit there that looks fucking amazing. The makeup on like the main Deadite woman is like amazing. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Good I, job. She, I, the, you know, I, I don't know this woman. I've never seen her in anything else. Um, she just looks amazing. Like, uh, just oh, yeah. even as a deadite, I was like, you look cr crazy. You look insane. The way you could contort your face, I couldn't tell. There were moments where I couldn't tell if she was contorting her face just via the makeup or if it was a CGI element because it was that like the way that she bulged her eyes out in certain parts. Like they were in every single person was into what they were doing. And oh, yeah. uh, it shows specifically even like the other character in the movie um, that, you know, is really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to spoil this movie. I think it's fun. Just go check it out. Um, eventually this will does, hit. Does Bruce Campbell ever come into the movie or is he just not? I can say, I can say yes. He has a cameo. He has a cameo. He has a cameo and everything. Good. But that's good. I won't At say that you'll see him, but you might hear him. You know, he's not on screen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right here. I was waiting for the, I was telling Mario because, um, right before, uh, um, that scene, they pay homage to Evil Dead 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was telling him, like, oh, dude, that's crazy they did that. And then there's a cameo. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So definitely check this movie out if you are an Evil Dead fan or if you, I know that Fee is notoriously said that they are not an Evil Dead person. But I yeah. think that this one would be the one that they would enjoy the most because it removes I, the one element you know, they hate. I, I, <laughs> I think that statement, though, because yeah. you know how, you know about Fee and, and babies? Uh, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this, game does have, uh, this game does have some uh, birth and stuff feelings. in it. About horror movies and birthing. And uh, this movie is called <laughs> The Mother right. Movie for a reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, well, you'll see. <laughs> You're just gonna have to see. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to say, Frank? Before we uh, move it on, um, I think. Um, see, the problem is the things I really like about it in terms of the 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 future of the franchise, of Evil Dead, and even in terms of like the way people like talk about this movie, they're like, "Oh yeah, it's totally different." And after watching it, I'm like, "Is it?" 
because I, I I I told you in the car on the ride home, like it doesn't really like have a big difference there when you think about it this way, do you? And he, and you were like, yeah, no, because it's still Evil Dead by the end of it, right? Yeah. But I can't reveal that without spoiling it. So watch the movie and then DM me, and I'll explain what I'm talking about <laughs> about that. All right, that's your homework. Go watch the movie, and I'll explain how this is not different from Evil Dead because in the whole grand scheme of the movie, it's just Evil Dead anyway. Yeah. You know, there's trees in Evil Dead. This has a tree moment. Not not as gruesome, yeah. but yeah, it still does tree stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, definitely check it out. Go to the movie theaters. Eventually, it'll be on DVD, and I can't wait to own it. Frank, me and you, we got. I mean, maybe it's a it's a, a group uh, Discord thing where we all watch Evil Dead because I own it digitally, so we could all. Yeah, we could watch Evil Dead 2013. I would like. I after watching that movie, I'd like to go back and see it. Like at least, yeah. You know I mean, like I know I don't like like those type of movies, like without Ash. But you know what? I think we could live without Ash for a little bit. Yeah, I think you'll you'll end at least up until Bruce Campbell it. caves. <laughs> until he until he caves, puts on the stuff. until he runs out of money, and then he's like, the you know what? The thing is, Frank, though, <laughs> like, the closer we do one more, we put him, we put the suit back on him. Eventually, he's gonna fucking die. Like that. I know. Has, he has that has to be his ending. Like, yeah, it has to be. But I want a definitive ending for our boy, not the cliffhanger ending that we have currently for sure, him. Sure, fair enough. Okay. All right. Well, that, of course, was Evil Dead Rise. We're going to move on. Mm-hmm.